All right, hello, this is uh, Brett. I'm here for mamasmiths.com, M-A-M-A-S-M-I-T-H-S.com, or for my uh, ex-military or military folk, that's Mike, Alpha, Mike, Alpha, Sierra, Mike, India, Tango, Hotel, Sierra.com. Get it? All right. I, uh, I got the Canna Kit Raspberry Pi 3 here. I got this through Amazon. So the Raspberry Pi 3 is uh, just came out a little over a week ago. Uh, it retails base, just the board itself for 35 bucks. I think this was like 70, 79 maybe on uh, Amazon. And you'll see here why uh, it's a whole kit. All right, let's carefully open it up. All right. All right, can you see that? Can of kit, okay? Raspberry Pi 3 complete starter kit. This is the 32 gigabyte edition black case. So it comes with a Raspberry Pi 3 uh, case and a couple other components, and it comes with a uh, operating system OS installed already on it. So let's see, cardboard box here, another seal. Go ahead and cut that one open. All right. All right, first thing we see is our HDMI cable, okay? Pretty standard HDMI cable. Looks like about a six footer. All right, oh nice, each thing's boxed, okay. What do we have here? All right, we have our two and a half amp, can you see it? Two and a half amp power supply for Raspberry Pi. It uses a micro USB. Um, so they have said that two and a half amps is all the power that you will need for the Raspberry Pi 3. Okay, see that right there? All right, so when you buy the base Raspberry Pi by itself, you will not get a power adapter. Pretty standard micro USB connector. Uh, again, two and a half amps, this one is, okay? At uh, five volts, okay? Five volts, two and a half amps. All right, so power adapter, okay? Here is the premium case for the Raspberry Pi. So one thing about the Raspberry Pi 3 is that it is the same shape and size of Raspberry Pi 2. So if you had a Raspberry Pi 2 case, it will work with a Raspberry Pi 3, which is why they have cases so fast for us. You can see there uh, some nice ports right in here and the nice Raspberry symbol cut in, etched in the bottom, nice and open. Okay, you can see a couple of the slots there, okay, slot all the way around, all right, here's all our connections for our USB, uh, spots for the USB. So uh, the Raspberry Pi 3 um, does produce a little bit more heat than the Raspberry Pi 2 did, um, so they have given us two different heat sinks, can you see that there, mm -hmm. okay? So there are two different heat sinks that come with this kit from Canakit. So again, something that you don't get with just the base Raspberry Pi 3 by itself. All right, <clears throat> let's see. It does come with a micro SD uh, card reader, okay, so that you can run your micro SD cards in your uh, computer to transfer, right? So the micro SD card that they give with you, the Canakit, comes with a Noobs OS pre-installed on it. So it's got an operating system. It's called Noobs, N-O-O-B-S. It's, uh, it's a pretty good base uh, OS that you can use with the Raspberry Pi 3. Of course you can use any of your own OS's. I'm going to install RetroPie on mine because this is going to be an emulator that's going to run in my arcade machine that I'm uh, building. So I can show that to you later. But again it comes with an operating system pre-installed. Okay. Here is the Raspberry Pi quick start guide from Canakit. Okay. So a little bit of information in here about setting up your Raspberry Pi, getting started how to use it, um, and again, one nice thing about the Raspberry Pi 3 over the old Raspberry Pi uh, zeros, one, twos, and Bs and B pluses, is that it comes with Wi-Fi on board. So here's what we care about right here. It's the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. All right, let's see. All right. Okay. There is the micro SD card, okay? So that's gonna have the noobs pre-installed on it, right there. 
It says it's pre-programmed, okay? They give you a little warning. It might appear only as a one gig, even though it's a 32 gig micro SD, okay? So when you first put it into a PC, it's gonna show up as one gig possibly. That's just because it's pre-partitioned. Um, also, you can use another program like Berry Boot um, that will allow you to put more than one operating system on the same card, which is nice so you won't have to do card swaps. All right, so here we go. Okay, we got it in our electrostatic case here. Here is our Raspberry Pi 3, okay? So it's the same profile as the Raspberry Pi 2 Bravo and Bravo Plus. Okay, we can see our pin board up here. Out here is our USBs, right? Ethernet port, okay? It does have built-in Wi-Fi and I believe Bluetooth. Um, there is our HDMI. Here is our micro uh, USB connector. Okay, here's our 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Can you see all that? And down here, okay, is our micro SD slot, right? So that's where our micro SD is gonna go. Okay, and right here I believe is what they say is the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth, okay, on board. Um, okay, in addition, looks like it just came with some material for the board itself for the Raspberry Pi. So again, I'm going to use this um, as my arcade emulator machine, um, but lots of uses for Raspberry Pi. So uh, there we go, Kanakit. It comes with the board, a power adapter, a micro SD card, 32 gigabyte, pre-installed with noobs. It's got a micro SD adapter for your PC, uh, HDMI cable, and of course those two heat sinks. Again, it does run a little hotter, so when we put it in the case, um, you'll definitely want to install those heat sinks before you put it in the case, even though it is a nice vented little case here. Um, heat sinks, I have seen uh, some reports that even in the case with the heat sinks on it, you can overclock it a little bit. Okay, but it will put out a little bit more heat, but it should run just fine. So later videos, maybe I'll uh, show it fired up with RetroPie and maybe even later installed in my arcade. And we'll put the link to purchase it in the comments here, description of the video, so you can find it very easily on Amazon. All right, thanks for watching. MamaSmiths.com, Raspberry Pi 3, Kanakit.